Let's solve a couple of questions on equivalent thermal conductivity. So for the first one, we have a small cylinder of radius R, which is placed inside a big shell having inner radius R and external radius 2R. So we can see the, we can see the small cylinder, which is in purple and, and the big cylinder outside of it, which is in pink. The ends of the cylinders are maintained at different temperatures as it represented below T1 and T2. The conductivity of the inner cylinder is 4K and that of the outer cylinder shell is 2K. We need to figure out the equivalent thermal conductivity of the system in terms of K. Okay, as always, pause the video and first attempt this one on your own. Alright, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now in the question, we see that these two cylinders, the small purple cylinder and the bigger pink cylinder, they are connected across the same temperature. So that's T1 and T2. Temperature at both of their ends is T1 and T2, which means they are connected in parallel. And we can find the equivalent thermal resistance for rods connected in parallel, which is given by given by this relation right here. It is 1 upon R effective, R effective, which is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. So R effective here is the equivalent thermal resistance and R1 and R2 is the thermal resistance for rod 1 and rod 2. And we also know how thermal resistance is related to thermal conductivity that is really r this is equal to l divided by ka but what does equivalent thermal conductivity for rods in parallel mean so we can say that if the two rods if these two rods if they are replaced by one just one single rod having the same total effective area of cross section then for the heat current to be the same the conductivity of the new rod that is required is what we call equivalent conductivity. So just like if we had, when we had two resistances, just like these, which are connected in parallel and they were connected across, across, across a cell. So the current that flows in the circuit, let's say that that's I, and we can replace an effective resistance in place of these two individual resistances. And even then, even then the current that will flow in the circuit it will still be I, it will still be I, even if this, even if these two individual resistances, let's call them R1, R2, if they're replaced by R effective. Similarly, if we over here, if we replace these two rods with one rod having the equivalent thermal conductivity, then the heat current that is flowing initially will be the same. So we need to figure out what is that equivalent conductivity. And to do that, we can place, we can place this, this, this relation, in over here and then figure out the k effective so let's let's do that this becomes this becomes one upon this is one upon l divided by k effective into area effective which is equal to one upon l divided by k let's call it k 4k into and let's let's say r1 is for inner cylinder this is 4k 4k multiplied by the area of the inner cylinder so that would be that will be pi r square and we are adding then 1 plus l the length is the same divided by 2k that is the outer cylinder shells thermal conductivity 2k into now the area of the outer shell so let's let's figure that out now the outer cylindrical shell we can we need to find out the area all of all of this area so what we can do is we can we can find the total area of radius 3r and then subtract the area of the purple cylinders so that will be pi 3 r square minus pi r square this is 9 9 pi r square minus pi r square which becomes 8 pi r square so that is the area of the shaded part we have excluded the purple the purple cylinder inside so this is this is 8 pi r square and if you think about a effective a effective is a total area that we can see from the left so that is that is pi 3 r square that is pi 3 r square the area of this purple cylinder pi r square plus the area of the outer cylinder so in total this distance is 3 r so the total area that we can see from the left is pi 3 r square that is that will come in place of a effective now one thing gets cancelled off that is l l just gets and k into a for all of these all of these quantities that will go to the top because it is in the denominator of the denominator so it goes to the top for all of them and and it becomes then it becomes k effective into pi 3r square this is equal to 4k into pi r square plus 16 16 pi r square into k now let's let's cancel pi so pi gets pi gets cancelled r square gets cancelled r square gets cancelled uh, what remains is k effective 
I'm writing that over here. K effective, this is equal to 4K plus 16K divided by 9. So this is 25K by 9. This is 25K by 9. And that is the equivalent thermal conductivity of the system in terms of K. Okay, let's look at one more question. All right, so for this one, we have a combination of three metallic blocks. We can see that over here. We need to figure out the equivalent thermal conductivity of the combination in terms of K. Now over here, we can see that these two, these two blocks, they are connected in series. And we can say these are the top blocks, they are connected in series. And then their combination is connected in parallel with the block, the green block of thermal conductivity 3K. So what we can do is first we can try and figure out the equivalent thermal conductivity of the top blocks and then we can find the equivalent thermal conductivity of the entire combination. So the first step to begin with we can find the equivalent thermal conductivity conductivity of the first two the top blocks which are connected in series and for series the thermal resistance the equivalent thermal resistance this is R1 plus R2. We know that R is related, the thermal resistance is related with thermal conductivity as L divided by Ka. So if we place, if we place this relation over here, R effective, this really becomes, this becomes L. Well, it won't be L, right? This will be 2L. This will be 2L. 2L divided by K effective into area. That is the effective area is A by 4. So this is A by 4, which is equal to R1. So for R1, we take L and L divided by K by 2, that's the thermal conductivity, into the area which is A by 4. Plus for R2, we again take L divided by the thermal conductivity which is 2K into the area which is again A by 4. So many things get cancelled off, L goes away and A by 4 goes away. And what remains is, what remains is 2 divided by K effective which is equal to 2 by K plus 1 by 2K. And I encourage you to pause the video and work out K effective from this equation. When you do that, you should get K effective as 4 by 5 K. This is, this is the equivalent thermal conductivity of the top two blocks. Now, as a result, the combination will look somewhat like this. Now you have, now you have the top block and you have the bottom block. So the conductivity for the bottom block, that is 3 K. And for this one, we just calculated it is 4 by 5 K. The length is 2 L and the areas remain the same. That is A by 4 for this and 3 A by 4 for the bottom block. Now these two are connected in parallel. And for parallel, we know the equivalent thermal resistance that is 1 upon R effective. This is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. We can again use this relation and place it over here. So when we do that, this becomes this becomes 1 upon 2L divided by K effective into A effective. This is equal to 1 upon 2L divided by 4 by 5K into A by 4 plus, plus 1 upon 2L divided by 3K into 3A by 4. Okay, 3K for the green block, 3A by 4 and that's the area. Now A effective, A effective is the total area. So when we see this combination from the left, the total area A effective, that's really A by 4, A by 4 plus 3A by 4. This is plus 3A by 4 and this comes out to be just A because it is 4A by 4. So in place of A effective, we can just write, we can just write A. Okay, again, many things, many things get cancelled off. L goes away, A goes away. In fact, 2L, the entire 2L factor goes away. So 2L goes away and then A goes away. Okay, now we only have the equation in terms of K and, and all the numbers. So, so what remains is K effective. This is equal to everything goes to the top and this becomes 4 by 5K into 1 by 4 plus 3K into, into 3 by 4. So when you work this out, this is 4k divided by 20 plus 9k divided by 4. This will be k by 5. So let's let's write that. Let's write that. This will be k by 5. And now I encourage you to pause the video and work out this. Take LCM and figure out what, what is k effective. Okay. When you work this out, you should get k effective as 49k divided by 20. And that is the equivalent thermal conductivity of the combination of three metallic blocks.
Okay, you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson. And if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link which is added in the description.